Hello world. Today we will be talking about gum acacia. Imagine feeling lighter, healthier, more energized by adding one natural fiber to your diet. Did you know that 70% of adults do not get enough fiber and they have a lot of discomfort? Your gut determines your immunity. If you add gum acacia to your daily nutrition, you could live happy healthy let's explore the magical effects how gum acacia is produced gum acacia is a sap which is produced from a tree bark acacia family whenever there's a cut or there is a natural injury this tree produces a sap which with time heat and air becomes thick hard into small crystals and those crystals are picked up purified and then they are used in commercial preparations it is very very important part of asian and african cuisine what are the health benefits this is a fiber it passes through your intestine and gets to the colon where it is used by your gut microbiome they love gum acacia because they thrive on that they reward us by producing short chain fatty acids and those short chain fatty acids go to our brain and lead to appetite suppression they also improve our immune system and integrity of our gut and they help us live long and also happier comfortable in our skin and in our stomach what are the properties of gum acacia chemically is a glycoprotein complex molecule but easily soluble in water whether hot or cold that is where its function and properties lies it acts as a very safe dietary fiber we must purify it during processing it and we use it in the pharmaceutical industry in many medications also in lot of cookies candy desserts in our cuisine it is very soluble and very digestible it acts as a emulsifying agent see when you combine water and fat they don't mix together how gum acacia makes a layer around the fat droplets and makes a smooth mixture and stabilizes it that is the property which is used in cuisine and also in pharmaceutical industries and in commercial food industries it is very safe because of being a fiber it regulates our sugar as i mentioned above it improves our appetite it makes good bacteria grow in our system it strengthens our immune system it can be used for weight management or weight control because when we are satisfied we do not eat junk we do not overeat it see food is a very complex mechanism when we overeat we cannot just explain that it is a will power issue it is a lot deeper than that how satisfied you are with the food when you finish eating decides how your cravings are and gum acacia helps you cutting down cravings gum acacia usually gets confused with xanthan gum they both are different they both are produced from trees but xanthan gum is a more cheaper version and it's used in big pharma and big food because it's cheap and it could be used in bulk and gum acacia is not very stable at very high temperature and above all is a prebiotic our gut bacteria likes it and xanthan gum is not a prebiotic so it doesn't have all the benefits which i just now mentioned xanthan gum used in the big pharma and big industry because it's a better thickening agent and gum acacia is a better emulsifier gum acacia is a natural raisin but whereas xanthan gum is produced with bacterial fermentation so they both are very different they do have use but if you want to incorporate into your diet you must consider gum acacia what is the benefit of gum acacia over xanthan gum first of all 
both of them don't have calories gum acacia is safer at lower temperature it's a better emulsifier it improves your immune system it helps you to manage your weight and it leads to satiety all these things are lacking with xanthan gum but if you need to thicken something it has a role you choose gum acacia versus xanthan gum based on whether you're trying to use it as a emulsify agent or a thickening agent how to use gum acacia in cooking it's used in our salad dressing chewy candies as a glaze on dishes and frosted health there were some studies where it indicates potentially that if you incorporate gum acacia into your diet possibly you have lesser of prostatic hypertrophy it has never been proven in randomized trials but there is a hint that it could be helpful and it has a lot of gut benefit so i think it's prudent to incorporate with your diet as one of the elements but don't use it just for prostate health and you will have other benefits but if you have prostatic issues that is not the medication to go for i believe more research is needed the possible mechanism which has been hypothesized is that there is growth of beneficial bacteria by consuming gum acacia and that is the reason probably it helps with the prostatic health is gum acacia safe absolutely people have been using gum acacia for centuries it is very safe gum acacia has been also tried in kidney disease again it has never been proven in scientific studies but we know that gum acacia decreases oxidative stress that lowers inflammation in kidneys and that's how possibly postulated it can help you with the improvement in your kidney functions but human trials have not been done yet there is no fda approved indication so far to my best of knowledge if it is a part of your daily routine i truly believe it will not hurt you but don't use it for the purpose of kidney health how gum acacia is used in middle eastern cuisine they use in lot of drinks desserts candies and they also use it for digestive health because they know it helps so they pretty much have incorporated it into their daily routine how much benefits you get from gum acacia depends on under what standards this was harvested how purified it is and there is any additives added or not and then any kind of impurities pure gum acacia is a neutral non immunogenic and prebiotic i truly believe it is a very good source of fiber and it should be incorporated by everybody what is the difference between gum acacia and kathira gond kathira gond has been used in indian cuisine for ages the difference is once you dissolve gum acacia into water it makes a very smooth drink whereas when you combine kathira gond and water it swells it crystallizes it is not a prebiotic it doesn't have all the gut benefits immune benefits satiety benefits as we have with the gum acacia it is a good hydrating agent and it is very yummy if you like kathira gond and it's very much integral part of summer treats in india i hope this video was helpful in giving you all the different aspects of kathira gond and how you could use it and what are the clinical uses my belief is you incorporate as a part of overall nutrition do not use it just for prostate health kidney health or gut health once this thing is incorporated as a whole it will help you with everything you want to achieve this is dr kulmeet kanlas and i will sign off in this video please share and subscribe to our channel kanlas md thank you very much and i will see you in one of our next videos thank you